And welcome back once again to an updated version of She Came From Outer Space. Last time we did this with 5A presses, but it seems to be possible with 4A presses because we recently found out how to get a tiny bit more height out of your uh, ice hat. And by using that, we will be able to save another A press here if it does indeed go as planned. Now, first off, I'm going to try and do a wall run here. I'm not, I cannot grab the ledge because if I grab the ledge, I have to either press the A button, which I can't, or I have to let go. So, to make sure it's a wall run that goes all the way up. Nice. There's other ways of getting around here. In fact, I didn't even need to do what I just did, but I wanted to do it anyway. Because I like this strat. And it's fun. Usually, I mean, you've seen this in a lot of videos already, but you can get around very easily by just using the eye set, tapping the button once, tapping it for one frame to give you a lot of height. Using the no bonk badge as well, so you can dive all the time. Combining your movements a bit. And there's stuff like this that doesn't even require an A press. And if you hit walls, you can wall run to get all the way to the top. So you see, it's not actually that difficult to get around without pressing the A button. Now this spot right here, I'm playing 120 FPS right now. Like I said in the original video, this jump right here is possible on 60 FPS, but it becomes easier on higher FPS. And since there's no rule against increasing FPS, I'm just, I'm just going to increase the FPS to make it a bit easier for myself. But I still might fail this now because I'm not on super high 300 FPS, but only on 120. So we bonk into this. And because we don't have the no bonk, we, because we have the no bonk badge equipped, we don't actually bonk into that little geometry over there, we actually ride the geometry upwards. Now we use the eye set here to get a bit higher and it actually gets rid of the sludge, but as it turns out, that doesn't actually matter, because the guy is still scared of us, even now. He's just always all really scared of us. Now we wonder if we could somehow manipulate that enemy into somehow standing over here and then we can jump on him and then by using that, make it over to the other side, but we haven't figured out how to do that yet, so there might be another update at some point later where we do indeed figure that out. For now, we couldn't figure it out. So here's the first A press, because even if we get a little bit more height out of our eyesight, we will not be able to make this jump, so one A press right here. And as you see, he's still scared of us. Now the this, this jump is fairly precise, but the good part is we're standing right on top of a checkpoint, so if we fall down it doesn't matter. So you can see that wasn't quite high enough, but it's okay. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna need to back again. I hate when that happens. There we go. Sometimes I get the bug where if I, even if I press the button for the eye set, I don't actually get the eye set to come out. What I need to do then is do a dive and then it does it. And I think it happens when you void out after pressing the ice button, after pressing the ice like if you press the ice set and don't hit the ground afterwards, and then you void out, I'm pretty certain that's what makes you, that's what makes you get the ice hat glitch, so I need to do a dive all the time here to reset that and get rid of the glitch. It's quite high, but I don't think, yeah, the dive was pretty bad. And we got it. Now that's a p trick right here that I have to get if I don't get this. Good. Now usually I did that before by using a boost from that palm tree. Similar to how I did that very first jump over from that little piece of geometry where I said like, oh I have 120 FPS to do that. Could have done something similar there by wedging myself in between the wall and the palm tree right there. But by using the new ice hat, we can actually do it that way as well. Now we go up here and use the height to go over here. Now even with the added height from the ice set, there's absolutely no way we will ever make it up there. Mostly because these, even if we could wall run up here, which the game really doesn't want us to, but if we even do a wall run somewhere along here, you see these potted plants up there? They stop us, as you can see right there. They stop us from getting the wall run all the way up. And I think they do it all the way over the place. You see, it's very finicky. It, it might be possible. Actually, it is indeed possible. There you go, figuring something out while doing the video. Amazing, isn't it? Okay, the problem that we have now, though, is we need two more A-presses to get over there, because once again, even with the increased height from the ice hat, 
it's it's mostly height, not distance. We still need to figure out how to get a bit more distance. So we're gonna have to do two more A presses right here. Very sad. I'll see if I can maybe get that tiny bit of distance otherwise, but as it looks like right now, we needed those A presses. But who knows, maybe those A presses will go away very soon as well. And welcome to the stream, Rain Andalo. So yeah, that was three A presses. We're getting down. We're getting down. So far, I think we're actually down to four A presses. Yeah, we're down to four A presses in all of Mafia Town right now. Right? No, we're down to three A presses. Amazing, we're down to three A presses, all of them in that stage. And all we need is just a tiny bit more distance. If we can just get a tiny bit more distance. Like, I mean, I know we get a bit more distance if we do this. Uh, the ice hat tap at a high point, but that doesn't give us a lot more distance. It gives us a tiny bit more distance, sure. It gives us a few pixels here and there, but we need a bit more than just a few pixels. We need, like, still, like, 15 or 20% more distance, and just getting a few more pixels out of ISAT does not give us that, more, that much more distance. So if we can figure out how to get a bit more distance out of ISAT, we can do it. We can do all of Mafia Town without pressing the A button. That's gonna be amazing. 